Welcome back to the End Zone 2, presented by OCH Sports Medicine Services. Let's get right to it. The Mississippi State Bulldogs hosting Gardner-Webb this weekend. And Matt, you know, people don't know a whole lot about Gardner-Webb, and they probably shouldn't. They're a Division One AA team, but how does Mississippi State match up with Gardner-Webb? Well, um, for Mississippi State, they match up pretty well. Gardner-Webb may match up with Mississippi State a little better than uh, most folks might think. Uh, offensively, Gardner-Webb up front, their offensive linemen, they're averaging well over 300 pounds apiece. They, the two left tackles, one guy is 6'4", 327. The other for Gardner-Webb is 6'7", 348. That's the right tackle, and he's a preseason all-conference guy. So they're not going to run a bunch of small guys out on the field. Gardner-Webb has got some big you know, strong uh, SEC type looking athletes. But one thing that they don't have probably is the depth even that uh, Mississippi State has. That'll be, a, that'll be an advantage for the Bulldogs uh, against the running Bulldogs uh, this Saturday. Well, and we talk about Mississippi State's big win over Auburn. That's, that's been, the, been all the talk this week. What are the chances for an emotional letdown after something like that? Well, I, I think very slim, uh, those chances, after you hear the comments by Coach Kruma, the way he's approached this week of practice, saying uh, we're not going to let that happen, and if anybody is comfortable, these words coming from Coach Kruma, if anybody looks comfortable at practice, I'm going to make sure they're uncomfortable because you have letdowns when you get comfortable. So he's really made a point this week of making sure they don't have a letdown, and a lot of those guys on that team don't have to look too far in the recent past to see losses against uh, UAB and Tulane and even Maine a few years ago to understand that just because you got a lesser opponent uh, coming in, uh, you cannot uh, have a letdown whatsoever. The strength of this, this Bulldog ball club obviously has been their defense. How does this defense match up against Gardner-Webb's offense? Well, they match up great. Defensively, it's, uh, it, it, the, the game will ride on the shoulders of those defensive players from Mississippi State, who, by the way, it's the first time in a long time that Mississippi State has had the same starters from all 11 on defense, from one position to the next on the other end, all 11 guys, the same starting group in the first four games of the season. Uh, in the past, they've always dealt with injuries early on in the season defensively, but Mississippi State, as healthy on defense as they've ever been uh, under Coach Kroon uh, in the fourth game of the year. Those guys, uh, if they continue to get confidence like the interceptions and the plays you see there against uh, Auburn, uh, they could have a great year defensively. And right now, they're ranked fourth in the SEC in total defense after the third week. So those guys playing well. Let's bring John Darnell back into this. And, and John, what is one thing about this game that jumps out to you? Well, the two young quarterbacks from Mississippi State are going to get an opportunity to go in and, and uh, really work on their game, uh, so to speak, against a one double-A opponent. They've, neither one has played a whole lot. And, um, you know, they're really going to need to develop that passing game um, a little better than they had against Auburn to go in next week against South Carolina. So I don't think there'll be a letdown here. I think Mississippi State will, will roll up the score pretty good here. All right, and Freddie Millens, what, what's your thought about MSU versus Al or against Gardner-Webb this weekend? Well, uh, I personally think that it's been a long time since Mississippi State had a, a winning streak, uh, at least even two games. Uh, I think that the local fans in Starford will welcome the team back after their big win in Auburn, and uh, I think they should win this weekend. All right, thanks, Freddie. Now we're going to go to Ole Miss here in a little bit. Coming up after the break, we're going to talk about Ole Miss, what they did last week against Vandy, and what they have coming up this week, a major task against the third-ranked Florida Gators. When the end zone two, presented by OCH Sports Medicine Services, returns.